Uh, I feel like we got the right mindset. Um, I mean, we, we faced a lot of adversity on this team, and uh, I feel like it's pretty much nothing we can't handle. So uh, just as far as, you know, everybody just rallying up and, you know, doing the respons- taking responsibility and, and as an individual, uh, everybody just trying to do their job and, you know, master the craft and, and just transfer it all to the field and, and play together as one team. Does it shock you how uh, things have gone in reverse uh, these last few weeks? Uh, I, I mean, I would say shock, yeah. Um, but I mean, it, it it all falls on us, you know, as players. We're probably just overconfident and you know taking each game uh, and and not really thinking about it. So right now, uh, we just really focus on a you know the team that we got to play this week and you know and trying to make everything turn around as far as these last four weeks and you know just coming together again and 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 fighting and you know scratching our claws, uh, just trying to get up to the top to where we you know will be our expectations was. And uh, one other question from me, K1, uh, uh, about uh, playing Penn State uh, this weekend. Uh, I don't know how much film you've had a chance to watch on them, but uh, what are your thoughts on playing Penn State this weekend? Uh, they're pretty good. The quarterback, uh, he's not really a scramble, so uh, it kind of give us a plus. But, I mean, he's I guess he's – I think he's number one right now in the conference in passing over 2,000 yards. So it's going to be pretty challenging, you know, just to, just to get back there. And uh, the offensive line is pretty big and pretty good, so – uh, it's it's on the defense again, uh, like each week to you know get back there, get a push, and you know try to limit them uh, in the run in the pass game. Uh, I just want to keep myself prepared. I wanted to get my body back to a position to be able to play, and uh, I feel like I've done that. And uh, you know I don't I don't know why everything happens the way it does. I know when it when it does though, I got to be ready and prepared for my opportunity. You had talked after the game about when guys get the chance they need to shine. Right. And so how are you looking at this week and, and then going forward just for you personally and what you can do for this team? I plan on having a lot of fun, to be honest with you. It's uh, Everyone kind of seems stressed out and stuff, you know, just reading everything and whatever. I want to go out there and have some fun. So that's what I'm looking forward to. And uh, I had a great time at the EKU game. I plan on having a similar type of game this week. So uh, I want to have some fun. Um, it's been a long year, long, long time in college. And uh, I'm looking forward, uh, looking forward to representing Purdue as well as I can. Do you feel like you're kind of an inspiration to the guys on the team just with what you've done and, you know, the, the desire that you've shown to, to play again this year? If I'm an inspiration, I want it to be a positive one. I want it to be the one that, uh, that you can put your head down and go to work. You know, that's what I was taught my whole time growing up. And, uh, you know, even, even with Jesus Christ this year, it's even – my relationship with the Lord's even grown even more. So, uh, you know, I'm not sad about nothing that's happened to me. Uh, I almost feel like I might have needed it. Uh, it's, it's matured me. It's humbled me. It's shown me uh, how precious life can be, how to view things maybe uh, outside the family and stuff you desire and care about. But if, if, if it's to inspire people, I hope it's to inspire people that, uh, you know, to stay positive, to keep working, to understand your situation, to understand the best way to push through it. So, uh, you know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm ready to have a fun time on Saturday. Saturday's going to be – it's a game. So, we need the win bad, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting after it. KK had mentioned that you gave a pretty rousing speech after the game. You had some guys crying. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> why did you feel led to say something? Um, I, just, I just thought it was the right time to kind of vent. Um, I had a lot of stuff on my heart for a long time. Uh, pushing through, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs, and – there's so a lot of things you need to look past. There's a lot of things you need to, you know, kind of look in the mirror and tell yourself this is the situation you're in. You know, you can you can be negative about it and, and cry about it and whine about it, or you can be positive and keep it moving forward. And uh, you know, like I've been all that, like I've been all year. Whatever I can do to help the team, uh, I feel like I'm playing the best football I played in my college career by far. I don't think it's close uh, mentally. I feel like I've caught up with myself how how I am physically, at least throwing wise. So. Um, you know, my speech was just kind of venting off. I just wanted to let the team know that I cared. I wanted the team to understand that I was there for them. I wanted the team to also understand when you lose a fight that you have to understand why you lost a fight. And you can't keep losing a fight the same way. So hopefully the message got across and uh, we come out blazing.